Hey guys, this is going to be a care on how I humidify the cage for the green tree monitors for Anis Prasinus. Okay, well the main thing for whenever you're keeping the humidity up in a big cage like this is you have to have a lot of things that will hold humidity. In this cage, in this cage, I use a, up three to four inches of the bot, the substrate of cocoa fiber and cocoa husk. I mix that. Uh, it I used compressed bricks of it. It was I used three bricks of the cocoa fiber or soil, and then two bricks of the cocoa husk, and that filled the whole bottom of the cage. And I also used two bricks of moss for the nest box, and that gave me about four inches in the nest box of moss. So in this cage, to I use the humidifier that Rhett Phibian kid made. He has a video on how to make them. It's really good. It works really great for keeping the humidity up. It is, I, we, you can get this at Walgreens. It's just a normal humidifier that you, it has a port that you have to, um, you, you have to just buy a adapter and um, I silicone mine and spray foamed it in good. And it holds, I'm going to say, around a gallon and a half of water. I'm not for sure the exact. But it lasts me three to four days, which is really good. And I run mine a lot in this big cage. So that, I'll turn it on for you. You can set it on timer. I don't have mine on one yet. So there you can see it. it's starting to come out good. It sends out a good fog over the, about the bottom half to quarter of the cage. So that leaves the top half for me to miss with this, um, let me see, it's this money pillow, haha, <laughs> it's a, um, pesticide sprayer that I just got at Walmart, has a wand that works really good, you just pump it up and spray it in there, I miss mine, this is the summertime, so I'm not in school, I'm home, but I miss mine three to four times a day, I missed it for two to three minutes a piece, Missed it really good, um, top and bottom. I do miss the bottom, even though it does have the fogger. Do it just to raise it up. You can't get this cage too humid. Um, and the humidity levels is another big thing. Then in the nest box, I could keep mine 70 to 100 at all times. And in the actual cage itself, the body of the cage, I would keep it... The bottom half, I keep mine since I have the fogger down there. It stays 60 to 70 to 100 at all times. And the top half, since I have to manually mist it, it doesn't hold as well, since it has these heat lights. I keep it at about 40, hey buddy, 40 to 70 to 80. Um, it's really hard to get the top half above 80, um, but I try to keep it as close as possible. Um, so there he is, there's the male, and there's my little female up there. It's hard to get her with that light, sorry. Um, there she is. Um, as you can see, he's a lot bigger than her. You might not be able to tell from the video, but he is. Um, anyway, I think that covers most of it. Um, another thing is that this cocoa fiber, the liner um, that Repturax uses, it helps hold the humidity in quite a bit, I can tell. Um, it holds moisture in pretty good, but yet yeah, doesn't fall apart. So I like that. And a tip for when you use this, you I bought it. You buy it in rolls. I used um, there's a side of it where they put the glue on it to hold it together. I put that side sticking out, um, facing the inside of the cage, so that way when their sharp nails dug into it, it wouldn't just fall apart. You can see right there, it's still it's coming unraveled, but you just cut that off with scissors. Um, but definitely do that. That helps it from coming unraveled and help help prevent them from getting tangled up in it. Um, what else, guys? I think that covers it. There's a fogger gone. It's not covering it too well. The door's open, but... And anyway, okay, one more thing. In the nest box, I keep three to four inches of that forest moss. It took two bricks of it to fill it up to where I wanted it. And I miss that whenever I do the cage, so three to four times a day. But it needs to stay really moist in there. Because these guys, are sleep in there every night, and whenever she's old enough, or big enough, she'll lay her eggs in there. 
So it's important that you keep the humidity up in there. I got these guys with, uh, let me see if you can see it. He has some sticky shed right there if you can see it. Um, so anyway, that's coming off really good. They both had some on their tail, but that's off. And I'm thinking that that might be a scar under that shed. I'm not for sure. But it's all coming off really good. And that moss helps them sleeping in there, that high humidity. And I think that's it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.